Wedding Confidential continues with Groomzillas. Here's Nick Watt. For centuries in the wedding kingdom, the bride, queen of her jungle, the loyal pack bowing to every bridal whim. The groom, a minor player, a mere drone, confused by the flatware and the flowers, often bumbling his way through, well, everything. The times, they are changing. There's a new groom in town, proud of his pastel palette and Pinterest board, versed in the differences between fondant and frosting. French vanilla with coconut custard? I mean, who thinks of that? Some sort of genius. He is celebrated by Hollywood. You're gonna want the fruit combo. This new groom is unafraid to perform in front of hundreds of wedding guests and millions more online. But new groom can go rogue. So you get your ass here right now! That's Charlie Balducci on his wedding day. One of the more famous or infamous episodes of MTV's True Life. I swore that I wasn't going to get ugly until today. When you have so much riding on one day, and then when that whole day is going to set the tone for your marriage, yes, it's stressful. And that stress, Charlie warns, can turn new groom into something far more frightening. That's not my candle. I'm not getting married with that. We've all heard of Bridezilla, but experts say Groomzilla is just as real. I knew of one guy and he fired one of her bridesmaids. I think they go overboard. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the whole power thing. They're actually worse than a Bridezilla. Come on, we gotta get out of here. One more guy. But you don't have to scream or threaten bodily harm to get your way. Meet Evan. That Evan had uh, had opinions. I was thinking you would wear a gray suit, and Evan was like, "Nope." Yep, I was thinking I'd wear a tux. She was originally thinking you know, we could have like 50 people at the wedding and be you know relatively small and everything. Um, and then uh, Evan shut it down. I didn't necessarily shut it down. Evan it was shut it just down. That. There's no question. Wedding planning can be a battleground for the sex is a minefield. Chris Easter. He's been there. Yeah, this is a safe zone. When Chris got married five years ago, he was jealous. His wife was leafing through a plethora of bridal glossies, but nothing for him. So he set up a website, themanregistry.com, to give grooms advice, helping them to get involved. In the past, guys were afraid to ask what colors are, are strong this year for men, but not too involved. What are the real no-go zones? Uh, the top of the no-go list is going to be uh, her wedding dress. Food? Food's a split uh, deal to me. Venue? 50-50. There's definitely some target areas where I think grooms um, can have a positive input. Entertainment is one. Transportation, great area for a guy to take control of. The entrance ramp at a bridge? But Charlie Valducci proves that even transport is not a safe zone. His limo driver was over an hour late. Because I'll hunt you down like and I'll gut you. Do you understand? I have a problem. What? Charlie says he doesn't regret those choice words. In fact, he says the world needs to know grooms feel the heat too. Because I was so involved with the planning and most of it was on my back, um, a lot of the hiccups and the situations that happened were things that I had to react to. Evan had a reaction too to the idea that gift registries are girls only. He wanted his own registry with man stuff. You know, having a, a new hedge trimmer to trim the bushes would be great. So he went to Sears and scanned his way to wedding bliss. Like many grooms of today, Evan is chipping in for the big event and gonna... if you're paying, you deserve to so have your cake and eat it too. Erin was very against cake. She hates cake, um, and I, I love cake. A lot of guys do. So many, in fact, that weddings now come with two cakes, hers and his. In this category, Evan won. They got a cake. In fact, you won a lot of things, like the tux and the big wedding and a bouquet toss, which Erin didn't really want either. There's been only a tiny bit of drama only, I think, at the very beginning, when I still thought that it was like the Aaron show. The takeaway? Wedding planning has become the first challenge in marital compromise. If you guys can't plan a wedding together, you know what I mean, then, you know, you gotta start to look at the marriage. Mm -hmm. In the end, our friend Charlie did calm down and 
the limo driver's life was spared. It still was an awesome day. No, it, really, it really was. And I'm, I'm proud to have been like a major, that. major contributor to that. Oh,